Time Warner Cable is launching a new program called Wouldn't It Be Cool If? It's a campaign to get young people to think about science and math in a fun way. David Borchett from Time Warner is here to tell us about this project. And thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. we're excited. You know, getting kids involved in science, technology, engineering, and math, it's a big priority for us. So, it is. like you said, we have this new contest, and it's aimed at kids ages 10 through 15. And how does the contest work? Okay, so our website is Wouldn't It Be Cool If? com. Kids can go there, like I said, 10 to 15. Uh -huh. They go there. They uh, We're trying to get kids to think of cool ideas that could change their lives, their community, even the world around them, and then try to connect those with math and science principles to get them invented. So kids go to the website, wouldn't it be cool if .com, they submit description of their idea, they can post a picture, or they can make a drawing on the website, and then they pick math or science tools to help cool. develop those. We'll pick four finalists next month. They get to go to St. Louis, and nice. one of them gets to see their invention come to life. So it's oh, a pretty wow. cool deal. Yeah. Wow. Is there, do they win anything else? No, that's it. They get to go okay. to all expenses paid trip to St. Louis for four finalists, yeah. and uh, it's four ideas. It could be one person or it could be a team of up to three people so okay. four ideas go to St. Louis and they get a chance to bring it to life. Is this the first year this has uh, happened? Yeah it okay. is and, and we're in the middle of um, an, a national initiative from Time Warner Cable is Connect a Million Minds. We're trying to get a million young people excited about science, technology, engineering yeah. and math so this is stemming off from that and, and like you said before the break Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas yes, is I, I think hyping I it up too. I think I said Will, Will I don't know who it's knows a funky what name. I said. It's okay. Rocker but, but a big time rocker. Yeah he's a big out. time celebrity and yeah. as you see here he's the face the national PSA and uh, the girl in the video actually with him is from Kansas City as well so we have a Kansas City connection oh, with the national PSA and like you said the rock star is promoting it so we definitely encourage yeah. people to go to wouldn't it be cool if .com. Oh that is great you know it's very important to have a big rock star like that to help out because you know that also motivates the children. Yeah and he actually has his own pro uh, program called I Am First based off the Will I Am name and, and okay. it's a big priority for him too to get kids excited about these STEM activities so we're, we're excited to have him involved. Well math and science typically one of those uh, things where a lot of children that it's, it's not fun for them or, or maybe more difficult for them so hopefully this is a good motivation. Absolutely like you said a lot of kids don't love math and science but 80% yeah. of the jobs in the next decade are going to have a math or science connection so it's a really important thing. It really is. Dave thank you so thank much. Thank you. Time Warner and let's send things over to Jeff.